Hello, I'm Dr. Larry Anderson, Associate Professor of Medicine at UT Southwestern Medical Center. Here I will summarize the findings presented in our abstract entitled Ida Captagene Biclusal, or Ida Cell, a BCMA directed CAR T cell therapy in relapsed and refractory multiple myeloma updated CARMA results. Here we are reporting results from a longer term analysis of patients treated with Ida cell in the pivotal phase two CARMA trial, now with a median of 24.8 months of follow up, the longest follow up to date from a global clinical trial of CAR T cell therapy in myeloma. Historically, patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma previously exposed to an immunomodulatory agent, a proteasome inhibitor, and an anti-CD38 antibody before relapse have poor outcomes with subsequent therapy using previously approved regimens. Um, for example, many of the recently approved products uh, would induce a response rate of 25 to 31% and allow patients to stay in remission for on average two to four months before needing a different treatment. Um, and so we're looking for ways to improve that. So IdaCell is a BCMA or B cell maturation antigen directed CAR T cell therapy. CAR stands for chimeric antigen receptor. So we're genetically modifying these T cells to force them to recognize the myeloma. It has already demonstrated favorable tolerability and deep durable remissions in heavily pretreated myeloma patients and was recently approved by the FDA for patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma after at least four prior lines of therapy or four relapses um, based on earlier results from this same trial that was recently published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And this is an update on longer term follow-up. The objective of this analysis was to present longer term efficacy and safety results in patients treated with IDACEL in the KARMA trial um, overall and by number of prior lines of therapy uh, because this trial only required at least three prior lines but the FDA label is requiring at least four. So we wanted to see if there were any differences there. In the KARMA study, 128 patients with relapse refractory multiple myeloma were treated with IDACEL across a target dose range ranging from a 150 to 450 million CAR T cells as a single infusion. So one infusion and done. Um, these patients had received a, uh, on average six prior lines of therapy. So their sixth relapse and up to 16. Um, so these were patients that had failed most standard options. Um, and, for, and very excitingly, the uh, overall response rate in this heavily pretreated population of uh, treated with IDACEL was 73% with a we call it a median progression-free survival, but the, basically the length of time patients uh, were alive and in remission was 8.6 months uh, across all target doses. But if we look at specifically the highest target dose, the one that we're aiming for in clinical practice of 450 million T cells, the overall response rate was 81% and 39% uh, of patients achieved a complete response. And the time that patients were alive and in remission or progression-free survival was 12.2 months. Uh, the outcomes did not vary significantly based on number of prior lines of therapy, whether it was three versus four or more. Um, these responses to IDACEL were often durable with a median duration of response of 10.9 months among all of the treated patients. And for those that achieved a complete response, the duration of response improved significantly to 21.5 months. Um, and 41% of patients achieving complete response were still in remission at two years. The, the median overall survival, so how long these patients lived, was 24.8 months among all of the IDACEL treated patients. Um, and, and even for those that had uh, three versus four or more lines of prior therapy, it was not significantly different. And, and the survival was similar in patients with certain high risk features like extra medullary disease and patients that were refractory to all three classes of medications or triple refractory also had more than 20 months of overall survival. The, in, the main two side effects that we look for with CAR T cell uh, therapy is cytokine release syndrome and neurotoxicity. Um, the incidence of these side effects was similar, whether the patients had had three versus four or more prior lines of therapy. 
About 84% of patients experience some level of cytokine release syndrome, although fortunately only 6% had grade three or higher. So only 6% had severe. Um, most of them were uh, mild and can be easily treated with an antidote called tocilizumab. Um, only, fortunately, only 18% of patients treated with Idacel experienced any grade of neurotoxicity, um, with only 4% experiencing more severe neurotoxicity. So much better than we have seen with um, similar CAR T cells in lymphoma and other studies. So um, fortunately, not a high rate of neurotoxicity. And overall, the safety profile of Idacel was similar regardless of number of prior lines of therapy and consistent with previous reports. We also did not see any gene therapy related toxicities after longer follow-up. In conclusion, from the KARMA study, the, uh, this trial continues to demonstrate frequent, deep, and durable responses in heavily pretreated patients with relapse refractory multiple myeloma. The safety profile of IDACEL was consistent with previous reports and the favorable benefit risk profile of IDACEL, regardless of the number of prior lines of therapy, supports its role as a treatment option for heavily pretreated relapse refractory multiple myeloma. This therapy was recently FDA approved, so now it is starting to become a standard of care as we speak. Um, however, there is still room for improvement. As I noted, even though 41% of patients achieving a complete response are still in remission at two years, and some patients are still in remission at three years, many patients will still relapse within two years. So we do need to find ways of further improving this therapy. So currently we're working on giving it earlier in the course of therapy. So we have trials called the KARMA-3, looking at third line CAR T cell therapy. We have the KARMA-2, looking at second line therapy and KARMA-4, looking at first line therapy in patients with high risk chromosomes. So we're excited about those studies, but we don't have any data yet. Uh, but this is an exciting era of new immunotherapeutic options for myeloma patients that can now give patients hope for a better future. And, um, and for those that, are, uh, that do relapse after these new therapies, ongoing trials are also looking at non-BCMA targets for those that have already relapsed after BCMA-directed therapy. So the future continues to get brighter for myeloma patients. Thank you very much.